So here's another engine cutaway. And you know this is nice because it would typically give the student the opportunity to actually move the crankshaft by hand and illustrate exactly what's going on. You can go nice and slow. So the first thing I would like to do is just kind of point out some of the parts, right? I mean, granted, this is the crankshaft. So directly behind the crankshaft, um, well, I shouldn't say directly behind. So this is the crankshaft down in here. Um, you can see the counterweights on the crankshaft that are just kind of shown with this little red dot. Um, here is the actual crank pin, if you will. So this is the connecting rod. And then inside there's a wrist pin and then this connects to the piston itself. Now we're actually at top dead center at the beginning of the intake stroke. So as we rotate the engine, you'll notice the, well, I'm sorry, that was wrong. Off by one, here we go. So now we're at top dead center right at the beginning of the intake stroke. Um, as the piston moves down, um, you'll see that the intake valve is starting to open and basically fills the cylinder. It then closes at bottom center, and now we have our compression stroke. Um, both intake and exhaust are closed. Uh, combustion occurs near top center. It pushes the piston down. There's the power stroke. And then last but not least, we'd have the exhaust stroke. So it's now you see the exhaust valve is opening, and we'll exhaust from the engine. Um, also, if we look down, um, you can see the camshaft. The camshaft is way down in there. Um, this is the camshaft down here, and it's really hard to tell, but you know, this camshaft is geared. So this actually has a timing gear right in here, as opposed to, you know, a timing chain or a timing belt. So the gear connects the crankshaft with the camshaft. Down here is a rotating camshaft, and that's actually going to be pushing up on the lifters and push rods and ultimately moving the rocker arm. So if we come around to this side, um, we can see uh, here is the top portion of the valve train. Here's the rocker arms. Um, it looks like the push rod, well, here we go. So as we um, go through the exhaust, this is actually the exhaust stroke now. Um, you can see the push rod has moved the rocker arm and that's actually opened the exhaust valve. Um, we then go through, and now here's our intake stroke. So you can see that now back in here, the intake valve is starting to open. Again, the rocker arm, the other rocker arm is moving. And now uh, we're at um, bottom center, go through the compression stroke, combustion. Again, you can see that both intake and exhaust are closed. And then we do our power stroke, and then we start all over again. So there's our exhaust stroke, exhaust valve open, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay, um, and then what we can also see if we just kind of come around onto the side over here, um, you know, we can just see some of the auxiliary parts of the engine. Um, you know, here is the air filter. This is the air intake. Uh, this right in here is going to be the carburetor. Um, obviously, this big tank is the fuel tank, and here's our fuel line. And the fuel line is going to connect up into the carburetor, and then of course all that is just going to flow right down here and flow actually into the engine. Uh, so again, this is another one of those cutaways that gives the students the opportunity to kind of play with an engine a little bit. Um, maybe I'll just rotate this a couple of times and you can kind of see what's moving, and, you know, the connection between the cramp, camshaft and crankshaft and the timing gear, the valve train, the pistons. So, yeah, it's really unfortunate that you guys can't come in here and actually do this yourselves. It's really a good learning tool to help understand the timing of everything.